Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lillian and today I am showing you guys my perfume collection. I'm also going to include one or two perfumes that I don't currently have in my collection but that are like some of my favorites as well. Um, so let me actually start off with those before I forget. So the first perfume that I wanted to show you guys that I don't currently have in my collection is called Burberry London. It's a very specific one. It's this one. I'll put in a picture right here as well. It's the bottle with the fabric. I'm not sure if they've discontinued it or not. Some shops still have it, some don't. But it's a very unique smell. Literally every time I wear that perfume, I get asked what perfume I'm wearing. It is very clean but strong but also soft. I don't know how to explain it. Let me actually look at the notes. The top notes are rose and honeysuckle. The heart notes are tiara flower, jasmine and peony. And the base notes are sandalwood, musk and patchouli. Now, I know that I love musk. I've noticed that because musk is in a lot of the perfumes that I wear. It has that really strong scent. I love it. And I'm quite surprised that one of the top notes is rose because I don't initially smell the rose. Um, I wish I had the bottle with me right now so I could actually smell it and describe it. But it, it's a very unique scent. It's very, you can definitely smell the musk and you can definitely smell like a floral scent. Um, and it's a very soft, almost like, not, I wouldn't say baby powder, but like that kind of softness to the scent. It's really nice. It's strong but very gentle. So it's not overpowering. Like when you walk past someone, it's not like a uh type of smell. It's like a ooh, like that smells, that's a pleasant smell to walk past. Um, so yeah, that is the Burberry London. And then another perfume that I wanted to show you guys. Um, or not even a single one actually, it's Zara perfumes. Zara is a clothing store, but they also do perfumes. Now, one of my favorites is Gold. I will put a picture up right here. It's actually a dupe for the Lady Million uh, by Paco Rabanne. I love Lady Million, but I don't love it enough to have it in my collection. It's my mom's favorite, one of my mom's favorites. So whenever I am at my mom's house, I usually steal that one. But um, for me, I don't know, I wouldn't buy it. Um, it's a lovely scent, but I wouldn't buy it. Maybe because my mom uses it so much that I'm just like sick of it now. But I love Zara perfumes. They are very long lasting and very, very good for everyday use. Um, or just like one of those perfumes that you have in your handbag on the go. So the Zara Gold is a dupe for the Paco Rabanne and it smells so good. Another one that I love is Gourmand Addict. I don't know if it's a dupe for something, but it smells really, really nice. Um, the top notes are bergamot, tangerine, and orange. I don't really smell that, to be fair. I feel like I really smell the bergamot and the, there's also patchouli in there. I really smell those scents. It's a very like floral type of scent. I don't really smell the orange and tangerine in it. Then the Zara Gold that smells like Lady Million is like a fresh woody floral scent and has some jasmine, orange blossom, um, and honey patchouli in there. Hey guys, um, quick intervention. Um, I went to Zara yesterday to stock up on these two perfumes that I mentioned and I found out that they're actually discontinued. So. Yeah, the perfumes that I mentioned, Gold and Gourmand Attic, they don't sell them anymore at Zara, but they do still have a lot of nice perfumes at Zara, so I would definitely recommend going to the store and trying them out for yourself if you want like an affordable but really nice perfume that will last all day. Now, let's get into this collection. I have it spread out right next to me. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 perfumes right next to me. I'm gonna try not to talk too, too much. Anyways, let's start off with my all-time favorite. When I tell you, this one is so underrated. It is so underrated. If you like YSL Libra, you will like this perfume. But this perfume is so underrated. I don't know anyone that wears this, but whenever I wear it, I get compliments and I get asked what I'm wearing. Now, the story behind this perfume is actually quite funny. So when my mom was pregnant with me, she used to wear this perfume. And now, I don't know why, but it's, it's become one of my favorite perfumes. It's called Poem by Lancome. And fun fact, I actually have three bottles. 
I have this one and I have two more unopened ones. I don't know why, but someone told me it was getting discontinued, so I stocked up. I asked when when my mom and my auntie asked me what I wanted for Christmas, I was like, get me this. And they always put this on sale when it's Christmas. Um, so they both got me a bottle. So now I'm like, I'm good to go for the next few years. Um, but this, this smells amazing. It's a very rich and strong scent. It smells so good. I feel like if you like ouds, you will like this as well. Not that it smells like this is not an oud at all, but yeah, you will like this. So the top notes are blue Himalayan poppy and lychee. Heart notes are orange blossom, mimosa, and jasmine, and the base notes are vanilla and desert datura flower. From what I can tell you, vanilla is definitely in this. Jasmine as well. And maybe, ugh, I wouldn't say orange. I don't smell orange. But it's a very strong vanilla and a little bit of jasmine scent in there. It smells so good. It lasts for days. I'm not even joking, days. Even on my clothes, I can still smell it days later. Like, that's how good and long-lasting the scent is. It smells so rich. I feel like it really gives like rich auntie vibes. If you're not a fan of strong perfumes, you won't like this one though. So this perfume, this will be in my collection for the rest of my life. The next one, which I actually only got last year, summer, um, but that has been on my list for a while, is YSL Libra. Like I said, if you like strong perfumes, if you like YSL Libra, you will like Poem as well. YSL Libra, again, is a very rich and strong scent. It is quite sweet, but it has this kind of sultry smell to it. It smells quite similar to the Poem, but I feel like this smells a lot more like floral maybe. And I think I can smell a little bit of black pepper in there, but let me actually look up the notes. Also, I have the Le Parfum. I don't know how to pronounce it. I have that version, which is not an eau de perfume or an eau de toilette, but this is like a more concentrated, hence why it's so dark. Um, it is not the Intense, because there's an EDP Intense version and then there's a Le Parfum version. EDP Intense and a Le Parfum are quite similar, but this one is a lot more concentrated, so you only need a little bit. Um, so the top notes for YSL Libra are bergamot, mandarin, ginger, and saffron. Heart notes are orange blossom, Diva Leven Lavender, <laughs> Diva Lavender Heart and Lavendin Heart, and the base notes are Vanilla Bourbon, Honey Accord, and Vetiver. I don't know if I'm pronouncing these notes right, by the way, um, but I'm really noticing that Orange Blossom is in a lot of the perfumes. I don't know what Orange Blossom smells like, because when I see Orange Blossom, I think of oranges, but I feel like it doesn't smell like oranges. But yeah, you can really, really smell the vanilla and the honey in here, and the bergamot as well. And I think what I meant when I said black pepper, I think I mean the saffron. Uh, you can definitely smell the saffron in there. Which is why this is very much an evening perfume. Like the Poem, I would say is an evening perfume as well, but you can get away with it in the right settings in the daytime. This one, however, this is definitely an evening perfume. I do not like wearing this in the daytime. I feel like it's way too overpowering for the daytime. Um, but yeah, I love it. It's very long-lasting again I feel like the Burberry perfume is perfect for both day and night because it has that very soft clean floral smell But it also has a very strong Scent to it. So I feel like it works for both day and night by the way as you can tell I keep all my perfumes in the boxes because I read that that's the best place to keep them in a dark place and preferably in the boxes and it also just helps keep like storing them very, what's it called? Organized. <laughs> Anyways, my next perfume is Coco Mademoiselle by Chanel. I love, love, love this perfume. I've had it for a few years, believe it or not, but I really only spray it on special, special occasions. Um, but this one is just very special to me because my mom got it for me when she had a surgery and I took care of her for a few weeks and the surgery was right before Christmas. She was just really grateful for like taking care of her while she was recovering from her surgery. So yeah, she got me this, which is why it's like a little special for me. I, funny enough, I have quite some stories with all these perfumes. And also I'm someone like I love getting perfumes. Um, I know my sister, she always says like all oh, perfume is such a basic gift. But I'm like, no, I love it. Like, give me perfumes. The Chanel Coco Mademoiselle, it is a feminine ambery fragrance. Sparks a fresh and vibrant orange. 
Accords of Jasmine and Rose and it's got patchouli and vetiver. I'm noticing a lot of the same notes within all of these perfumes. But yeah, I would say this one smells a lot more floral. You can definitely smell the rose. Um, and you can also smell the patchouli in here. It smells very like sweet. Um, it's quite strong as in it lasts, but it's very lightweight. It's a very light perfume. It's not too overwhelming. It's a very nice and gentle, sweet floral perfume. Um, it's very feminine. It gives me like French girl vibes. I love this. I love this and especially when you're like for a wedding, for example, I, I would wear this to a wedding. Next is Prada Paradox. This, the TikTok girls were right about this perfume. So I got this perfume as a gift on my graduation last year and I love it. It smells so good. I was a little bit skeptical at first because I've never tried this, so when I received it as a gift, and I didn't actually hear of it, like I didn't know like it was trending on TikTok and all of this stuff, um, so I wasn't sure. But when I opened it and I smelled it, I was like, oh my god, this smells amazing. The Prada Paradox has top notes of pear, tangerine, and bergamot, middle notes of orange blossom, neroli, and jasmine, and base notes of bourbon vanilla, white musk, amber, and benzoin. Now, I can definitely actually smell the tangerine and the pear which I wouldn't have said in the first place like without reading this I wouldn't have been able to kind of identify those and it's it's like a very fruity and floral perfume which usually is not really my thing but I feel like that's why I love this one so much because it's like the perfect balance between fruity and floral and it still has that white musk in it that I love so much as well it's very long lasting I feel so confident when I wear this as well because I just, I don't know, I just feel like I smell good all day when I wear this. I would say this is more of a daytime perfume or like spring evenings, summer evenings. I don't know, I don't know if that's just me where you have to wear certain perfumes at certain seasons or certain times. I don't know, I wouldn't wear this on like a dark evening, I would wear something a bit stronger. But I feel like this, you can wear it on like a summer day or a spring day. The next one, which I actually got gifted as PR by Lancome is La Vie et Belle, but this is actually their new version. It's called Lex Lextract. It's like an extract. I'm not a huge fan of the original La Vie et Belle, but I really like this one. The original one is very, very sweet, and that's just not for me. But this one, it's got the perfect balance of like sweetness, but a bit of floral in there as well. Damascena rose petals, iris palita butter, jasmine notes, orange blossom notes, and an oud wood accord that brings signature strength and richness. I can definitely smell the wood and the oud, um, and I think it's like a perfect balance of that with the floral, like the rose petal and the jasmine, which creates such a unique scent. I feel like this is definitely more of an evening perfume. I wouldn't necessarily wear this in the daytime. Like, I would wear this to like a gala or something. I know that is very specific, but I feel like it's a very unique scent and it kind of reminds me of like wearing a very, very nice evening gown and then just spraying this on and you know you're gonna smell good the rest of the night but also you're not gonna smell like the rest of the people in the place that you're going to. That's what this gives. I'm so specific with these descriptions but that's exactly what this gives. And I love the packaging as well. It's so cute. The next one that I got gifted as well is Angel Elixir by Mugler. Mugle? Mugle? Very important, it's the Angel Elixir and not the original Angel perfume. Because the original Angel perfume, I don't know, I like it on other people but not on me. But this one, this smells so good. It almost smells a bit like men's perfume. I don't know what it is that makes it smell like that, but let me find out. So the top notes is pink pepper, middle notes are jasmine, elang elang, sandalwood and orange blossom. And the base notes are bourbon vanilla and amber extreme. It smells like, you can definitely smell the jasmine, but I think the sandalwood is making it smell a bit more like men's perfume. It doesn't like exactly smell like men's perfume, but I feel like it's not as feminine. I love this. I personally love this perfume. I think I'm almost, yeah, I'm almost finished. But I really, really love this perfume on a daily basis as well, but also like, when you're just like going out in the daytime with your friends or something like that, 
I love this perfume. It smells amazing. I feel like it goes really well with, like when you're wearing like a streetwear fit or like something a little bit more edgy, not as girly, then wear this perfume. It smells so good. It smells very clean and fresh. Almost like, you know, that aftershave type of scent, but like with a feminine twist to it, if that makes sense. The next one is Gorgeous by Michael Kors. This was quite surprising to me because I've never actually tried Michael Kors perfumes. Love, love, love this perfume. And if I would have to describe this perfume in one word, it would be spring. That's literally what this smells like, spring. And I think they released this perfume in springtime as well. The top notes are bergamot, citrus, mandarin, and pink pepper. The base notes are cashmere and cedar, cedar wood, suede, tonka bean, guaiac wood, styrax, and wood. I don't know why that was so weird, but I got a bit confused by that. You can definitely smell the bergamot, but you can also smell a little bit of citrus to it and the pink pepper. And I feel like the citrus is making it feel like it's giving it a little bit of an edge. Um, I find it so hard to describe perfumes, you guys. I wish you guys could just smell this through the camera. But yeah, it kind of reminds me of springtime. Just smells really good. Very fresh, very clean, but it is quite strong. Um, I guess sometimes I feel like I'm a little bit desens desensitized because I love such strong perfume. So in my opinion, I don't think this is that strong, but I do recognize that this is probably strong for people that don't usually wear strong perfumes. Um, but that's why I love it, because it has like a very gentle side to it, but it's still very strong. I would say spring evenings, this is what I would wear. It's a very fresh and floral, but still has a little bit of darkness to it. I love this, I love this so much. I have two more perfumes to go. This one is Valentino Uomo, Born in Roma. This is actually a men's perfume. I'm not sure if it's unisex, but I got it gifted as a PR and I didn't realize it was a men's perfume. I love this. If you like men's perfumes, um, then definitely get this. I feel like I can still get away with wearing this, even though it's very much clear that it's a men's perfume, but I love it. You know like those Louis Vuitton perfumes that are unisex, but they really truly smell like men's perfume? That's what this kind of reminds me of. So some of the keynotes in this perfume, Calabria, Bergamot Heart, Coffee, Accord, Vetiver, Heart, Essence, Haiti. There are no commas in between the sentence, so I don't know which words are like part of one note. But yeah, those are the notes. I can definitely smell the bergamot and I'm actually gonna spray this one even though I'm already wearing perfume. And it has a bit of a zesty, like citrusy scent to it. I don't know, I'm so, I find it so hard to describe men's perfume because I feel like it all kind of smells the same, <laughs> low key. But yeah, it has a little bit of sweetness to it. Can definitely smell a little, little bit of floral to it, but definitely that bergamot and a little bit of citrus to it. I don't wear this very often, but I did want to put it in this video because I just love the smell of this. Last but not least is the Versace Dylan Purple. Now, when I first smelled this, I wasn't very convinced. Like, it just wasn't very special to me. Now, I love wearing this to like a everyday, like work, just on an everyday basis. It smells very clean and when I spray this, I do actually get compliments funny enough because I feel like when I spray this at first, I used to feel like I'm not even spraying anything, like it didn't smell like much to me. But as it sits on your skin and on your clothes, you start smelling like that very clean, um, that very clean like scent. Again, surprisingly, it's got bergamot in it, <laughs> it's got bitter orange pear juice and bergamot in the top notes. The heart notes are purple freesia, palmer rose, and mohenio, and the base is cedarwood, ambrofix, belambre, silkolide. Um, they've got a lot of like copyrighted notes, so I think they're like blends of scents that they've made themselves for Sachi but it's a floral, fruity, and musky perfume. It is very, very floral, very fruity. I don't really think it's musky. I don't know if this is an insult. I don't think it is. But it smells like one of the first perfumes that you have. Like when you're like 14, 15, like you'll have like one of your first perfumes that are not very, very strong, but that just smell very fruity and floral. That's what this smells like. Would I buy this with my own money? I don't think I would. I got this gifted, so 
I don't think I would buy this with my own money, but I do really like it as like an everyday. But when I finish this, will I buy it again? I don't think I would. But I still wanted to include it because I feel like a lot of my perfumes are very strong and intense and dark perfumes. And I feel like this one is very light, very floral, fruity, and just like a very good daytime perfume, especially for like work. How can I forget? This is actually the last one, the star of the show. Your girl got her first Jo Malone perfume. And I haven't opened it yet because I want I wanted to unbox it on camera. I got this perfume at the Jo Malone store in the Battersea Power Station in London. And they actually do free engraving there. So I got my initials engraved on the top of the bottle. And I got the English Pear and Sweet Pea Cologne. This is the new one. So they have one with English Pear and something else, I think. Um, I wasn't a huge fan of that one, but this one, I really liked it. It's very, very, very different from what I usually wear. As you can tell, I wear a lot of strong, dark, sweet perfumes. This one, I feel like is the opposite. It is the opposite. Let me actually look up the notes. The top notes is Williams Pear. The heart notes is Sweet Pea. It's like a floral, it's a, fl it's a type of flower, um, which gives it like a floral fresh garden smell is what they say uh, and then the base note is white musk so that makes sense why i really like this actually because white musk it smells very powdery and clean and it adds like a softness to the perfume um which explains why i like this because i feel like white musk is in a lot of the perfumes that i like because i love that powdery smell this smells very fresh, very fruity. You can definitely, definitely smell the pear. And I love this for spring. I think for spring and for summer, it will be a really good perfume to wear. I feel like I really needed something different from like the really dark and intense perfumes that I usually wear. And I just wanted something light. I feel like this is such a girly perfume. Like it's very feminine, very, very girly. I really like this. It smells very, very clean and almost like grown if that makes sense it's giving like grown and effortless because i feel like with these perfumes like ysl libra poem um even la vie i feel like with those perfumes you're really like shouting like i'm here i'm entering your room and i'm here and everyone can smell me but i feel like with this it's a lot more like a subtle presence like you're grown you're confident you smell very different and you still smell good but you're not shouting it so I don't know if that makes sense but that's what this is giving it's giving grown and sexy and I love it it still has that little bit of innocence to it because of the floral and those are all of my perfumes I hope you guys enjoyed this video I know I have a lot of perfumes I even left a few out that I don't actually wear because I just felt like I just really wanted to show you guys the ones that I love so thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite perfume is and if you wear any of the perfumes that I wear. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell to stay updated whenever I upload. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Lillian's Egg Guy. Thank you so much for watching and for your support. I love you guys. God bless and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!